Hello there. Welcome to the AWS Tech Guide training. My name is Som, your AWS Tech Guide. In this tutorial, we will learn how to connect to EC2 as well as we will learn how to create key pair, convert PEM file to PPK file and at the end we will connect to EC2. Before going further, let's see what does PEM and PPK mean. PEM or Privacy Enhanced Mail is a base 64 encoded DER certificate. DER means Distinguished Encoding Rules. Encoded X509 digital certificate file. DER files are digital certificates in binary format. On the other hand, PPK files are PuTTY private key files developed by PuTTY and they serve as storage for private keys. These files are used to enable secure communication with another party having the corresponding public key. Our first step is to create a key pair. I am already logged in in AWS Management Console. We need PEM or PPK file to connect to the particular EC2 instance. Let's go to the EC2 and EC2 dashboard. Now I am at EC2 dashboard, you will find the key pair option under resources or at the left hand panel under network and security. So click on key pair options, click on create key pair, enter a name, suppose AWS guide and it is asking two options of file format. First one is PEM, next one is PPK. If you are using OpenSSH, then select PEM or if you will be using PuTTY, then select PPK. For this tutorial purpose, I am selecting this PEM. Let's see PEM and now click on create key pair. Our key pair has been created and as you see, it has downloaded the key pair as .pem file, as .pem file. I'm just copying it to my desktop. Till now, we have learned how to create key pair. Now let's convert PEM file to PPK file because PPK stands for PuTTY private key and PuTTY needs it to enable secure communication with the EC2 instance. There are two prerequisites for this step to convert PEM file to PPK. You need PuTTY and PuTTY key generator tool installed in your system. To download PuTTY, go to PuTTY.org. As you see, go to PuTTY.org and you will find the download option for PuTTY. You can download it from here. You will need PuTTY key gen or PuTTY key generator as well. And once you install PuTTY, you will get the PuTTY key gen inside that. I have PuTTY gen already installed. So you will find, I have PuTTY already installed. So you will find, find PuTTY gen. So click on PuTTY gen and click on load. Now browse the PEM file. I'm selecting the PEM file, clicked on open, okay. Now click on save private key, okay. Give a name, and click save. And you will be done. Now go back and see there is a .ppk file has been generated. So it is our ppk file we converted from .pem file. There is another way to create key pair while launching EC2. While launching an EC2 instance from AWS Management Console, it gives us options either to create 
key pair or select existing. Let me take you through this. I am creating an EC2 instance very quickly here. So click on EC2 instances, clicking on launch instance, select AMI and select review and launch. And as you see, clicking on launch and it is asking me to select a key pair. Choose an existing key pair. It has, I have the only one key pair. So he, it has by default selected this. Or if I want to create a new key pair, it gives me, you have to download the private key file dot PEM files. So it, or if you create a new key pair here, you will get only the PEM file. Now let's do one thing. Choose an existing key pair because we have already created the key pair. I have selected, acknowledged it and launch EC2. Let's go view instance. And our EC2 is initializing and it will be ready by the time you see that we have our public DNS. It is, we need this public DNS to connect to this EC2 instance. Now open putty installed in your system. Copy this public DNS IPv4 as your host name. Give a name to this session. Test EC2. Go to connection. And under that data, click on data. Enter username as EC2 user, EC2 dash user. Click on SSH, expand this SSH and go to auth and browse your PPK file. Let's select this PPK. Now again, go back to the session. I'm just saving this session. So test is it true and click on open. Click on yes. Yes, we are connected. As you see that we are connected to the newly launched EC2 by the key pair we have created. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can get our AWS Tech Guide resources from our website, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and even write. For any query, please feel free to write to us. See you in our next session. Thank you.